Hi everybody, it's Nani. How are you doing today? I'm doing really good. I have another Dollar Tree haul video for you. Dollar Tree, they're just knocking it out of the park lately. I'm, every time I go, I end up finding so many new items and there are many in here. Some, some just typical that they have all the time, but quite a few new things and it's just making me so happy to go there. So I'm going to start, like I always do, with what I had in the thumbnail, and it's the earrings. I finally found them. I've seen so many of you hauling these, and for weeks I could not find them anywhere. And finally, I found the whole display. There are so many styles to choose from, but I picked the ones that I knew that I would wear. They had a lot of, like the post with the dangles. And I really don't wear that type of earring that much. Well, like this style I do, but these were the ones with like the circle at the ear and then the drop. I usually don't wear those type of earrings. So I stuck with what I really like and I wear hoops all the time. And these were, I picked one in each color scheme that they had. So I will show them to you individually. And they did have several different sizes of the hoops themselves. These are like the um, tortoise shell, I guess you would call it. They're the hoops, pretty big. I don't know if you can, can see, but they are, they are a pretty big size hoop. And they're, they're the tortoise shell style. I thought they were really pretty. I have a lot of blacks and browns in my, in my closet. So I thought these would go good with just about anything. Even a plain white shirt and a pair of jeans. I think these would look really nice. And the other ones are, I believe they're almost the exact same hoop, but these are in a light purple and black print. I thought they were really pretty. I don't wear much purple, but I do wear a lot of black. So I thought these would go really nice with it. And then these are almost like a mother of pearl, I would say type. I don't know if I can bring that in close enough for you guys to see, but they're white and they have like a white shimmer through them. I just thought they were different and pretty. I don't have any any hoops with that style, like a stop sign type style. I thought they were really pretty too. So I was really happy that I found those. I, I didn't think that I would. I In all the stores that I'd gone to, they had the display that they have had for quite a while with all the, the gold and silver styles of earrings, but I didn't think I'd ever find these. And I was surprised when I saw the display how many different styles they had in each one. The color schemes were all the same, but they had so many different styles of each one. So keep your eye out for those. A dollar for a pair of earrings that are very cute and stylish, why not? I was very happy about that. I found a couple more of the Kiss Gel nail polish. In a few hauls back, I had shown a, like a light blue, a robin egg blue. And I knew there were other colors, but when I, I'd gone back several times, didn't see any more, I finally found the, the display of these. And these were the other two colors that they had. I think I may have picked up a light pink color in something a while back. I'll have to check in my, my um, nail polish little bin that I have. But I'm not sure if it was this brand or not. So I'm really looking forward to doing a couple sets with these colors. I, I use the gel nail polish. My favorite nail polish is Sally Hansen Hard as Nails, but I do use this as well. I use the glitter a lot as my accent nail. I do not believe these have a color on them. I do not see one at all, but I just thought they were so pretty. Let me see the purple one here if it does. No, it does not. They're just numbers that are on here. But I just thought they were very pretty, very spring. I really like them. It's time for me to take these nails off. I've had them on since before Easter and they're, they're time to go. So please don't mind my nails. They're looking pretty rough. These were a set of the Kiss nails, the glue on. They were already pre-done in the French, French manicure look. So I just, I threw them on right before Easter and they're holding up very, very well, but they're looking, you know, it, it's time to take them off. So maybe I'll pick one of these colors next. I have so many new colors to choose from that, but I really like these. I think I may go with the pink and see how that works out. So if you guys like nail polish, check out the Kiss Gel at, at um, Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if there were any other colors. Those were the three, the, the Robin Egg Blue, the, the light purple and the light pink. 
those were the three that I had seen weeks ago and that's the colors that were still there so I don't know if there's other colors or not another thing that I found kind of for myself I found another pair of the shoes man these are hard to find people must be scooping these up as soon as they bring them out of the box they have them in black I've only seen the black in extra large they have the like teal blue green color but I've seen it only in small but I found the gray and I'm not kidding you these were the only pair in the store just gray none of the other colors oh, and they also have the bright pink which I showed in a few hauls back I like them I really do I've been scuffing around in them a little bit and I really like them but these are the medium the 7-8 by the company Juncture um, let me see what else it says here you know I wanted to see is Juncture a Greenbrier product yes it is they are Juncture is Greenbrier but I really like these there I've said in the video that I did the pink pair they're made out of the almost the same feel of Crocs the Crocs brand but they're comfy they don't give blisters I was afraid that maybe they would dig in around here or here or the little side hole and cause blisters I haven't had that problem at all they seem like they have a really nice grip on the bottom they're not slippery like some of their flip regular flip-flops are these really grip well so I'm really happy with this purchase if I see the other colors I may pick them up too I, I really like them good luck finding them I hope you guys have an easier time than me because I sure I'm having a excuse me I'm having a bugger of a time let me see is there any more things for me I don't I don't think so we'll go to the like, houseware section I've said before that I'm gonna be switching out a lot of my plastic for glass and then wait till you see what I have next the only size bowls I can find in the Dollar Tree are these I want something with a lid that comes with a lid so I don't have to use the little plastic shower cap covers that I buy all the time I really like these they they have been holding up well I've had them now for several weeks so I saw them in the store and I picked up two more of these I really wish they'd get some bigger bigger sizes Dollar Tree if you're listening which I know you're not but if you are make some in the bigger sizes I'd love that and I did pick up pick up two of those but I'm not going to show them and then me saying that I'm switching out everything from glass to plastic yeah well I need these every once in a while I'm I've been going through them like crazy I have this big issue I put spaghetti you know meals that have had spaghetti sauce and if anybody knows how to keep the spaghetti sauce from staining up your bowls horribly please let me know because I can't figure it out but I know they're clean you know they run through the dishwasher or I've hand washed them I know they're clean but they're still stained and once they get to that point where it's beyond I just throw them away so I saw these and I thought that color lid was so so pretty it's like a mint green and these are the the shorter style almost like a sandwich size like a sandwich would fit in there but I thought these were really pretty pretty and it's called the special edition color and there's a ridge lid for secure stacking lid clicks to container for a tight seal and this is the Rubbermaid take-alongs um, I'm not sure oh it's a 2.9 cup size but I like that color this is almost my favorite color and I love a mint green that that's my color and a very very pale yellow so when I saw these I couldn't pass them up and they work well they really do they hold up for a long time I will choose Rubbermaid over any of the other brands that are there and I also got this pack because they're a little bit on the bigger side you know and sometimes you have leftover soup or whatever it may be and need a bigger thing so I got these and these are also the Rubbermaid take-alongs the you get two with two lids and in this one you also get two with two lids this is the 5.2 cup size and I use these quite often. I actually had to throw a couple away here after Easter, so I believe I am, I'm down to one of these. So I picked it up to have. I, I really like them. I like the Rubbermaid brand. I'm sorry, I'm gonna drop these on the floor. I need to move my light here, guys. I'm sorry about that. Um, let me see, in the household stuff, I got one of these. I had never seen these before. I've seen the bags of mothballs quite a bit, and I do pick them up for in my my coat closets 
it's always good to have a few mothballs in a coat closet. And these, this is the moth cake and it says no clinging odor. I believe is what that says. Yes, no clinging odor. It's by the Enns and en, Enos Enos brand from since 1918. You just get one. It's the moth cake. You put them in there and keep all the little critters out of your your coats or whatever it may be. And I saw this. I'd never seen it before. I thought it's better than having. I always put a couple mothballs in a little tiny mason jar, like a little jelly jar. And I thought, how convenient is that? I can just hang it up on the rod and. Don't have to worry about that anymore. So I just picked up one and give it a try. Does anybody else have any problems with moths? I haven't for years and years and years, but here several years ago, my hubby had a beautiful wool coat in his job. He dressed up quite frequently in suits and ties and the whole bit and had a beautiful wool coat that he spent a pretty penny on and it ended up somehow a moth or whatever got in the closet and you could see the marks on his wool coat and oh my goodness it was that was horrible having to to throw that coat away but stuff happens I guess but we haven't had that issue since hubby picked this up for the garden hose we've bought these over the years they work just fine they it has a seven pattern spray nozzle and it's by the garden collection it's just the garden hose thing you can see there and this turns I believe yes this turns to give you the different jets that come out of it you know, every couple years we buy a new one they work well we haven't really had any problem with it and be careful I see this one is coming out if you do pick one of these up look inside down here and make sure the seal the um, washer rubber washer is in there because if you don't have that, it's not going to work that great. Your water is going to shoot out everywhere along the edge of this handle. So make sure that that rubber seal is in there. But these work well. <clears throat> Let me see here. Another thing I needed was a new broom handle. I love their new broom, the brooms that they have there with the black, the black um, handle. We have all... I don't know how many of them we have. I know we have at least two, and I think I have every attachment that goes with them. Hubby has a mop down the garage. We have one out back on the deck, and I needed a new one for back there. And I like this one. It's the angled the angled head, and I, I really like this. And this is by the, the Essentials brand, and it's the angle broom head. And it says handle sold separately, which we know, and it is a Greenbrier product. These work well. We really, really like them. Everything that I have tried, I have one that has the Swiffer head on it that, that you can wash, you can take it off. It's kind of like a fabric Swiffer head. I have one of those, it's like microfiber, I guess. Use it all the time. I love it, love it, love it. I had just bought a replacement for it. I'd used it for months and finally had to throw the, the pad away and got buy a new one because it was just looking too shabby. But these things hold up well, they last a long time. The handle is such an improvement over what they had before. So if you're going to buy a broom, spend $2 and buy the handle and one of the attachments instead of buying their white and blue broom. These are so much better quality. Another thing in the like household, I saw these, they had several different colors. It's just a watering can, but I really like the style of that, the shape of it, I thought it's really cool kind of art deco looking, but I thought that was pretty cool. And I have a few flowers and pots here in the house that thought this would be, instead of carrying around a gallon jug, water jug that I've recycled and used to water my plants, I thought, well, this is kind of pretty. So I bought that to water my flowers in the house. And I know when the grand ladies come down, they'll end up swiping it and taking it outside and using it to make their magic potions and everything else that they do. In their kitchen set, they have a little toy blender and mixer and toaster. And they take the blender and the mixer outside and they pick grass and herbs and things around the yard and they mix it all up with water and it's their magic potions. But hey, it keeps them occupied and they enjoy doing it. So I'm sure that as soon as they see this, they'll be swiping it, but that's okay. Another thing for the house, we buy these quite frequently too. A couple times a year, we replace them. They are the um, the mats for in your sink. There are two here. Yes, there are two here. They're just the clear mats that you put in the bottom to 
protect your sink and protect, you know, if you put a glass or whatever in a, kind of a softer surface. And it's by Cooking Concepts. They're 12 inch by 11 inch, just the sink mat. And they are a Greenbrier product too. And you can see there the, the picture. I'm sure you all know what these are. They used to have them in a solid white. Our sink is white. And I actually like the white ones better. They didn't seem to stain as easily. For some reason, these clear ones, if you put spaghetti sauce type stuff, rinse off the plates and they stain and you really have to scrub to get them clean. But I haven't seen the solid white ones in a long time. So we picked up these. And another thing, we do throw them in the dishwasher, but it's not a smart idea. We put them in here a few weeks back and they all like crinkled and we had to put them in the sink and run hot water on top of them and they did eventually flatten back out, but it's probably best not to throw these in the dishwasher. And they don't smell that great either. I caught a whiff of it as it went by. I'm sorry for throwing things on the floor, guys. And I saw these and I picked them up for the grandkids to have here. They're the Learn to Draw books. We got them some for Easter and they love them. This one is Let's Draw Jungle Animals. And the girls love to draw. And it just, it shows you step by step how to draw a jungle animal. And there, there's all, all kinds of here. I'm not gonna, all kinds, I'm not gonna go through them page by page, but yeah, it's a really good way to learn how to draw. You know, they're showing you step by step. And this one is Let's Draw Dogs and Cats. What does that say down there? Permission granted to reproduce pages. Oh, so you can reproduce these pages. I won't get sued for it. But these are, these are all dogs and cats. Little poodle there that you can learn how to draw. Let's see if I can find a cat page. And this is all about how to draw a cat. But there's several pages in these books, so I thought that would keep them busy on a on a rainy day when they're down here. I think they would really enjoy that. So I have a few food products here. I've been looking for these with summer coming. The girls love the all the kids love to have ice cream cones, and so do we. And these are really good. I remember buying these here last year. We all enjoyed them. They are the Georgia Toms. You get 12 sugar cones. It's a five ounce package. And the best by date is um, August of 22. These are really good. If you see them, pick them up. They're nice and sturdy. They don't crumble, you know, very easily when you put your ice cream and things in there. Never noticed any little points popped off that the ice cream is gonna drip out the bottom, but if you don't want that to happen, just shove a little marshmallow down in there and that solves the problem. But these are very, very good. We've had them before last year, and I believe even the year before, and we all really like them. If you like sugar cones, give them a try. And another thing that we found that I have been on the lookout for, I think I've talked about it in some of my videos, was the Barillo, um, Barilla Organic Pasta. This is the penne, it's the only style that we saw. I just picked up two boxes of it and me and the hubs are gonna try to go low carb. So we probably won't be eating this anytime soon. So I'm gonna give both boxes to my oldest daughter who is very much organic. She loves everything organic. So I'm gonna give them to her. And this is a one pound box and it's USDA organic, non-GMO verified, enriched macaroni. And it's the, the penne. So I was really happy to find those. I really thought that they were long gone that I would never see them, but you just never know when things are gonna pop up in your store. You lose hope of finding anything and then boom, there it is. And these are good until April of 23. So very nice long shelf life on these. Maybe I should keep them. Maybe our low carb diet won't, won't go for very long. That's a horrible way to think, isn't it? I need to be, I need to be confident. So anyway, that's that. And Hubby picked this up. This is the Crayon Watermelon. We had bought the Crayon Tropical and really liked it. Thought maybe that we should give this a try and see what it tastes like. It's the Ocean Spray Crayon Watermelon. 100% of your daily vi um, vitamin C, 25 fluid ounce. The best buy date is June of 21. So you know, we're gonna, gonna have to get on this and finish this off. The, the grand ladies will be here 
before this expires. So, and, and you know, the expiration dates go way past what's on the bottle. These are just best buy dates. So just thought we'd give that a try. If anybody has tried this, let me know what you think. Is it good? So yeah, pick that up. Thought that was pretty interesting. Picked up another bottle of these. I've been talking about them in some of my last videos. It is the Martinelli's, the apple grape, the apple grape juice. And this is made with the purple grapes, not the white grapes, like a, a Concord grape. So, so good. If you see these, pick them up. They're delicious. I haven't had the chance yet to let the grandkids try it. I forgot about it over Easter with so much other things to eat and drink. They totally forgot about this, but I know they're going to absolutely love it. So we did pick up two bottles of this just to have on hand. I think we we had one left out of our last shopping trip and we drank it, so we picked up two more. And just a couple more items, guys. I've seen several people hauling these and they looked just deliciously amazing. Never thought that I would see them. Never seen them in the stores before. They are the Reese's Fast Break Candy Bars. You get five candy bars in here. They're snack size and they're 0.67 ounce bars. The whole package is 3.35 ounce. These just looked delicious and the best buy date is December of 21. They looked yummy. What does it say? What are they exactly? They are milk, chocolate, peanut butter, and nougat. Have you guys tried these? They have to be delicious. I've said it before, I need to be careful with peanuts, but a little tiny bit doesn't bother me. So yeah, I'm looking forward to giving these a try. And then look what we found. We found them, picked up two packages of them. I'm telling you, you need to try these. Oh, are they delicious. They are my absolute favorite cookie in the Dollar Tree. I know I've said that before. They're just amazing with a hot cup of coffee. Oh, they're so, so good. And they expire December of 21. They put their expirations how they should be, nice and big, right across the front where you can see it. But these are from Amber Farms. They're the pecan shortbread cookies. It says delicious and buttery, just like shortbread cookies should be. And it's an eight ounce package. And they are absolutely 100% right about that. They are delicious. They melt in your mouth when you eat them. There's just enough pecans in there to make them delicious. You do taste them. They are super, super good. If you see them, I highly recommend these. So I think that's it for this haul, guys. It was pretty big, bigger than I have been putting out lately. I just want to let you know that I appreciate you all, each and every one of you. You just make me smile every day, and I thank you for that. If you're watching and you like what you see, subscribe. Become a part of our um, my, my YouTube family. I just stuttered there a little bit. We would love to have you as part of the, this this channel, this YouTube family. I, I'm just a stuttering mess here at the end for some reason. Usually it's at the beginning. So anyway, guys, you have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you again here real soon. Peace.